Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dose of Positivity. I'm here today with my good friend, Jolene Watson, who is the owner of Clarity Coaching. And today we're going to talk about how knowing yourself, going through a Myers-Briggs personality assessment and knowing yourself can help relieve, st relieve stress in your life, whether it's your career, with relationships, whatever it may be, that's what we're going to talk about today. So welcome and thank, thank you. you so much for joining me. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about how, about what you do and how it can help someone relieve stress in their life and feel more balanced as well. Definitely. So Clarity Coaching and Development is a company that I've created. I became a practitioner using the Myers-Briggs personality profiling tool about two years ago. Okay. I went to business school and developed my own company. And what I do, I use the profile in three different areas. I work with individuals, couples, and yep. as well as career coaching. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I love that. I love that you work with couples because yes. relationships are so important. They are. And knowing yeah. your partners is instrumental. Very much yeah. so. So with regards to women, for example, yeah. if someone was, if a woman was to come to you, how would going through that personal assessment and really understanding who they are help them manage stress in their life? Oh, it's amazing. So you get a 17 page report, so it's extremely detailed. Wow. And it doesn't only go into your four letter type, it goes into 20 areas within those four areas. So it shows what, you know, how you make decisions, how you communicate, what's gonna bring you energy, how you view the world, and most importantly, how we differ from others. And there's an entire book that I've studied that goes into how we react under stress. Okay. And what we do, we tend to flip our type. And what I mean by that, an example might be, I'm an extrovert, yep. so I love people, I love to be around people, I gain energy. Yes. And when I'm really stressed out, I'll shut off my phone, shut myself off from the world, and that's a sign that I'm under stress. And yeah. the reverse is up, that is true as well. Yeah, yeah. And the same thing happens to me whenever I'm feeling stressed. I no longer want to be around people. Yes. And I immediately know something's wrong because I love being around yes. people. It's your natural state. It's my natural state, yes, yeah. yes. So. This must have been huge for you, um, not just the career change, but I'm sure you've gone through your own personality assessment as oh, yes. well. How has that helped you relieve stress from your life? Oh, it's been amazing. I did the original 17 page step two report on myself and I found it had a huge impact at my workplace. Uh, one of my bosses and myself had a few conflicts in certain yep. areas and we realized that we were one letter apart. Wow. In our personality types. And once I fully understood his intent, we became, well, now he's actually one of my mentors for life. So wow. we changed our relationship, and that's what led me into getting certified as a practitioner myself. Yep. And with the career side, I did all the reports, of course, on myself, yes. which was dozens. And I picked out the ones and did all the homework, the research, and that's what led me to start Clarity Coaching, wow. which is my passion. So yes. It's two different areas that helped me. I think it's really amazing and so important because what you do, yes, it helps people know themselves, yes. but the stress relief part comes from, I just know for me when I did it, um, I knew I loved my job, yes. I was in business, I loved my job, but I always knew I should be doing something different, but I always was, I always felt guilty about, well, what do I do with this business degree? All of a sudden yes. it does nothing. But when I did the personality assessment and I really knew who I was, I, of course, I do now what exactly what it said I would yes. naturally do. It, it's almost like it gave me permission to finally take that leap. Yes. Do you find that a lot with clients that you work with? Absolutely. I have one particular client that I worked with in the career realm as well, and she didn't love her job, but she loved the people that she worked with. And yes. she was there about seven years. And after we did all the reports together and she did all the research and we met again, she decided to completely shift careers and try something completely new. Wow. And it turned out it's her dream job now. And she's extremely happy, but I people love are that. sometimes scared to take that leap because yeah. they don't know. We're, we're afraid of the unknown. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And, and it is like that. It's like, well, I, I went to school to be a nurse or I went to school yes. to do this. So what gives me the right? So they just stay in that job because yeah. One, they don't know what they should be doing. For yeah. me, it started, I just didn't know what I should be doing. So I yeah. hired a coach because I was like, I know I want to do something different, but what is it? And I learned yeah. so much more about myself than just my career. 
I learned a lot on the personal side, which you do a lot of that as well. I do, yeah. Um, so that whole assessment when you work with couples, because working with couples is so important, what's more it stressful is. than relationships oh sometimes. Yeah. How does that help relieve stress in a relationship? Oh, I've worked with um, a lot of couples and often human nature is that we're attracted to opposites sometimes. Yes. Because we admire something in them. But what happens is that also causes a lot of conflict in a relationship. Of course. We make decisions differently, we communicate differently, and we gain energy different ways. Yes. So once I go through the reports with my partners or couples, then they can really truly see where the intent of the other is coming from. Yes. And it often relieves a lot of stress. And I also bring in appreciation styles. So oh, I love, love that. Languages. I yeah. love that. Tell yeah. me a little bit about that. So not only do we communicate differently, we want to receive love or appreciation in different ways. Yeah. And what we tend to do, and it's quite interesting, is we give what we want to receive. And that's often not what they need or what they want. Yes. So I always say to everyone, the platinum rule should be first and foremost, in which that is treat others as they want to be treated. Wow, I love that. Yes, because the golden rule is it's okay, but often others don't want to be treated like we want to. So always yes. keep the platinum rule in mind. And that's so important. I know it's helped me in my relationship with my husband because we are completely different. Yeah. We have obviously our, our big values are the same, but just those little things were really different. Like I am such a feeler. Like I everything <laughs> is by my heart, right? Yes. And he everything is by his brain, you know? Yeah. So it's so different. So whereas I just want to coddle and be like, oh my god, let me just love that away from you, that yes. stress away from you. Um he would not want to do that back. That wouldn't be natural for no. him, but it would be natural for me. Yes. And just knowing that we are different really helps because I can really see what he's giving to me is in fact love and tenderness in his or way. in his way. Yes. And then him vice versa, right? Which is really nice. But then also knowing that I find really takes the stress away from any conversation that we have, any challenges that come up in a relationship, which I'm sure is huge, the communication part oh, for couples, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So in your opinion, what would be the number one thing for that you would say to someone, um, whether it was their career or in their relationship, um, that they could that, that would make them say, you know what, I need to do this to help relieve stress in my life. Like, what is the number one mm -hmm. thing that really grabs people? I think it's the fact that not knowing your type is important. To know your strength is important, but it's more important to know the areas that we need to flex and learn to become proficient yeah. in, in order to be appropriate for the situation. Yes. So there's two sides to that. Knowing your type is great, it helps guide your career and your relationship choices, but also being able to flex between those four areas Yes. Helps us adjust in this world and we need that. Does it take practice? Because <laughs> I just think like there's so much. I mean, a 17 page document. Yes. Um, there's so much. Does it take practice? Like it wouldn't happen overnight. No. What I recommend with my clients is that they take two colors of highlighters. Yeah. They highlight everything in the report that they love, that they're proud of. Oh, I love and that. And the color that's your least favorite, you start highlighting things you need to work on. Okay. And there's different areas. There's decision, communication, how you deal with stress and conflict. There's different pages. Yeah. And it has a section on how to enhance those. Because often wow. we don't realize how people perceive us. Exactly. This is who we are. Yes. And once we realize that, we can better adjust to the situation. That's so amazing. And I just know yes. like stress is such a, a, a big, big thing. Mm -hmm. And I just know even just people will know that this tool is available to them to yes. help them manage those stressful areas in their life and to get clarity, which yes. I find that alone is stressful. Just not having yes. clarity is stressful, <laughs> which I love. The, that's why I love the name of your business. Yes. It's like clarity. It's, oh my God, just knowing oh, what we don't know is just amazing. so amazing. So often what happens is people won't take that next step because they don't know what to expect. Yeah. So if, if I were to call you up today and didn't know anything about it, yeah. what can someone expect for the whole, from the whole process? It's actually quite simple. There's an online questionnaire that has uh, over 70 years of research. Uh, the Myers-Briggs profile is uh, out of uh, Psychometrics Canada. Okay. So 20 minutes to fill in the 150 questions. And so it's a really simple, easy questionnaire. And then I get the report, I study it, and then we meet 
usually about 1.5 to 2 hours. Okay. And we'll go through a PowerPoint to get you to guess your type. To really oh, make it. sure you understand all of the eight areas. Yes. And then I interpret the report and we go through the entire report back to back. And then of course I'm available for questions. Exactly. And I do follow up with my career clients and couples as well. So yeah. to guide them in that direction. Now, okay, yeah. now you know this is the area of career you should be in. Yes. Um, now let's take some action on that. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I usually refer them on to employment agencies or people to help them find the jobs. Yes. But what I do is I help give them the options and I make Love sure I that. follow up on that they did the research and job shadowing. I also help with job interviewing techniques because I think is... some people don't have those skills and it's really exactly. the tips and tricks. And that alone can be stressful yes, as well. Absolutely. You know, I was just listening to a, um, a podcast this morning from Entree Leadership who mm -hmm. talks about, you know, people just get so stressed out to do something new, but yes. it's like practice, 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 practice. And if you practice the interview before it even happens yes. and learn those little techniques and even that people won't do it yes. because they're so stressed about the interview. Or studying the website, knowing their core values and how your reports and your strengths yes. meet with the company because that's the key. Is that something that you go through? Is that part of the assessment, knowing what you really value? Yes. Yeah, it actually goes through not just careers, but hobbies you might enjoy. And oh that's goodness. to deal with stress management. No yes. job is perfect. You're going to have areas that exactly. are going to lose your energy or stress you out. Yes. So you can actually structure your day differently to know when you're low energy to do the high things that bring energy to you. I so I actually that. structure my day that way. So you always bring in hobbies, make sure you're yes. balanced. And that yeah. helps you get back on track instead yeah. of just staying in that funk you know, okay, well, I need this high energy yes. activity to get me back to my strongest self. Yes. Because for, I'm doing something that's making me feel weak. Yes. So for yes. example, you and I are both, we're actually the same personality type, yes. which is great. Like to the uh, T. Hence that's connecting so <laughs> yes. well. And when I have to do bookkeeping, you know, with my company, that's a part yeah. of it, a part of owning a business. And I'm a feeler, so I'm more empathetic, value-based, yes. more about win-win. And I love to pick out what's best in people. And so the thinking side, the very analytical, logical, debit credit, that side, I can do it, but it loses me energy. So I yes. make sure I you know, structure my day that I do the bookkeeping when I'm at the most energetic. Yeah. And then when I need to bring back my energy, I organize or color coordinator, you know, that's the J in yes, my personality. Exactly. I love to organize. So. Yeah. yeah. I do that as well. Like when I feel myself getting stressed out about something, I add something in yes. that will take away. Like if I have to do something that I really don't want to do, I'll turn on some happy music yes. or I'll make tea in a pretty cup or just yes. something that just makes me feel better. Or I clean my entire office first <laughs> I <understand>. because it yes. <laughs> just helps you be more creative creative yeah. when your office is clean. Yeah. Yes. And if you know <laughs> yes. those things, you can easily incorporate those in. So yeah. even creating lists of things that make you happy, that bring you energy and having that out is important. Yeah. yeah. And I think it is so important. I talk about this all the time about, it's not just about knowing yourself, it's knowing about what you value yes. and knowing about what you can do to get yourself out of those stressful situations. Yes. And Clarity Coaching, that's what it does. It helps you it doesn't help get rid of stress in your life because there's no such thing. It helps you learn to manage stress and to look for the triggers and to know what to do to get yourself out of it, yes. which is so key. It's not about having a perfect life and always being on. Like no. Even though we are very extroverted and we have these happy businesses yes. and we promote that, it doesn't mean we're always on either, but no. we know how to get ourselves back. Absolutely. So. What is one thing, if you had one story, like someone coming in to see you and they were just pulling their hair out frazzled, is there one success story that really sticks out for you? I definitely, I do have a couple career clients in mind, the one, yep. I, the one I spoke of before. Yes. Another one has actually been in his industry for 25 years. Wow. And he's close to retirement and he came to me and he's like, you know, it's just, I think I need something different. And wow. we, we met multiple times to go through this. And I one time just threw out because he had mentioned something about Vancouver. And I said, well, what about Vancouver? I'm like, why couldn't you do this there? And you know, he looked at me and he's like, I never even considered, you know, moving my entire life. And he goes, yes. So I, he said to me, he's like, you've opened up so many possibilities that I just shut down before, you know, different careers, but not just the career. Because sometimes it's the location. 
Yeah. It's the place you're working, not necessarily the career that you want to shift from. So we had a lot of important discussions and wow. yeah, it provided a lot of clarity for him. He was exactly overjoyed actually with that. Yeah. And did he pick up his whole life and go? We've, we're still meeting. Oh my yeah, goodness. But he's actually considering love things that. he never thought of before. Because it's all about joy and how do we find it. Yes. And it's take, sometimes it's taking risks. Yeah. But in the end, you know, uh, you talked about career before and veterinary is one of the top careers for our type. Yeah. Uh, teaching, counseling. Yes. And anything to help people, you know, find their potential. And I've been in the veterinary industry yeah. and now I'm also an instructor as well as Clarity. So, you know, to find those things and it might be a few different things over your lifetime. Very much so. And that's okay. Yes. It's it you don't have to do the same job your entire life. You can switch and yes. your job is like that as well. You're very diverse oh, yeah. in, in clarity coaching. It's very, very diverse. You focus on individuals and couples and relationships and yes. career and contagiously positive is the same thing with health and life yes. and and it's so important because especially for our type, some types need that structure, but yeah. for our types we do like variety oh, yes. and I find now that helps me feel a lot more balanced knowing that that is okay because that's just who I am yes so it's a really big thing and this gentleman that you're working with it sounds like his like he was in that pull your hair out moment oh, yeah. it's just like I don't even know what to do but I need to do something yeah and now even though he's not quite there yet talk about a huge stress reliever oh, just yes. just to working towards options. it yeah you and, don't have to stay where you're not yeah. happy Exactly. Oh, I love it. So, if someone were to want to get in touch with you, what would yeah. be the best way for them to get in touch with you? Uh, definitely through my website, yeah. which is jolenewatson.com. Yes, which we'll have all on the bottom, yes. which will be good. You yep. bet. And, or my phone. Yes. All but the, you don't. Always after. You, and yeah. what I love is you don't just coach one on one, which so many people don't know, yeah. right? Yeah. You can also coach on the phone, correct? Absolutely. So yeah. you can hit a worldwide market if you wanted to with no restrictions. Yes. Wow. Yeah. And sometimes with couples, um, they prefer to come separately and then together. So I'm very accommodating and I customize what works best for them. Exactly. Yeah. What would be your number one? Like, do you get more career and, or does it kind of go in stages? It does. Yeah. So obviously yeah. before September, the career coaching goes up. Yes. People want options before they spend a huge amount of money on investing in their careers. It's a good yes. idea to look at the options and really research what you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I always love to talk about this right at the end because I think it's so important. Um, everyone is in, when you start your own business, you're in it for a reason. Yes. You want something for someone else. What would be your number one desire for, not just for women who will be who, this will be who will be watching yes. it'll be mostly women but what would be your number one desire for just for people in general not necessarily a client but just people definitely would be for people to realize their full potential you know where are your strengths and to play on those strengths and to just find your dream career find that passion and to be truly happy in a relationship because that is supposed to bring us the most joy Yes. So to be able to provide that for people and I always look for what's best in people by nature. So having it as a career is just amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. And I love that because it's true and it doesn't necessarily need to be a romantic relationship nope. either. Everybody needs someone, whether it's a friend or it yeah. is a romantic relationship or it's with family. It doesn't matter. We, we all need those relationships and they shouldn't drain us of our energy. They should boost us up. Yeah. And I think working with you, even if, they, if, even if they're all together in their career, it's still such a great tool to go through at m many times in your life, like oh, maybe yes. before college and then again midlife. I think it's so important. Yeah even if you feel you have it all together, because it does open up those other possibilities for you, right? Definitely, yeah. yeah. So is there anything new that you're working on that right now that you'd like to talk about? Uh, definitely, I'm looking at doing some couples workshops and oh hopefully pairing with Contagiously yes. Positive to do workshops. We will definitely be doing that. Yes. <laughs> so that's a big one. Yes. And um, you know, definitely really customizing my career consultations yep. because there's reports based on even your study habits and how to get the best out of yourself knowing your style. 
So wow. not just what careers you might choose, there's uh, actually links where you can go right to job postings and to wow. the National Occupational Code. So the career reports are pretty amazing, but there's so many. So I'm working on customizing different packages depending on where the person is in their career stage. Wouldn't it be amazing if that was in schools before yes. if someone did, like I just think grade 11. Yes. They're, you know, students are starting to figure out, do their school planning, right? Yes. What do I want to do for the rest oh, of my life? Yes. I didn't know in grade 11. I wish someone had done this for me when I was 20. Wouldn't that yeah. be amazing if yeah. Myers-Briggs, if that was in schools and they did that as career, tra oh. career training before they applied yes. to colleges? And not that I would have not gotten a business degree, but I probably would have chosen what I originally wanted. I originally wanted to be a counselor and I yes. probably would have done that had I known, but I just thought, oh no, business, that <laughs> just sounds like the good oh, place yes. to go, right? Yeah. Instead of following my passions, I kind of followed a different route yes. and all transferable skills, but I had to backtrack, right? Yes. You had to spend 10 years and well, then came around and went to school again. There's one paragraph in the report that says, you know, we can do anything, any yes. career, but if you are in a career that constantly is losing you energy over a long period of time, they anticipate stress is going to result and is it worth it? Yeah. So that's a key. We could do anything, but why not choose a career yes. that's going to bring us energy and be in line with our passion? And we just talked about that before we met about how people will say, well, I hate my job, but I'm getting benefits. Yes. But they're so <laughs> stressed. <laughs> they're stressed to the max and it's not because they have all these life stressors things might be going pretty good in their yes. life but they hate their job so much it's a domino they they come home feeling oh, yeah. bitter towards their partner they're bitter towards their kids yes. like they're just bitter towards life because they're spending eight to ten hours a day oh, yeah. five days a week doing something they love they have one day off and Sunday they're already back to stress mode thinking I wish oh, I didn't yeah. have to go in so I think it's amazing absolutely everybody should do this as assessment yes. which is just so great and it's it, innate so it doesn't your type does not change yeah so that is the really neat part so you can look at your report a year later two years later and it's still relevant oh that's so amazing and what a great tool to help people manage stress to figure out what they truly value and to get clarity which yes. is the number one thing i think is to relieve those stressors in life just have clarity about what you want yeah. Like I wake up every day knowing I want to be healthy and happy. Just having that clarity alone of knowing what I want to feel every single day is huge. And if you can give that to people, imagine what they can do with their life. Yeah. So is there anything else you would like to anyone to know? Oh, just that I'm very happy to be here with you today and to thank you for Love everything. It. And well, I'm excited to partner with you in the future. We will well. do some fun stuff and yes. spread some clarity and positivity. <laughs> For yes. sure, for sure. Thank you so much well, for joining us for a dose of positivity. And yeah, just look forward to some great new exciting things coming up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.